this is Mae Brooks and this is Backstage Pass. monologues. This is when he first encounters Isabella. When Isabella starts pleading for Claudio's life, a lot happens over here. The steps are basically the steps of the building where all like the hippies hang out. <laughs> so like they're just like, uh, dude. Like it's it's pretty chill like on the steps. <laughs> and all the way over here stage right we have the prison. This is where Claudio hangs out. He's in prison here, and the Duke and Isabella will come over here to kind of console him, to talk to Claudio, but we get a lot of character development over here and lots of really beautiful monologues. Well, I like this set a lot because you have jail, like the business sort of stuff, and then you have like in the church, so it's like dark, medium, and light. <laughs> yeah. That is a great way to explain it. it. All the kind of like iffy stuff, and then the, all the good stuff over on the church side. <laughs> Why should people watch this show? Well, the current situation as it relates to race relations, as it relates to power, the balance of mercy and justice, can people uh, have something called justice and still be merciful? How do you do that? Here are characters who are so fully human, fallible, making mistakes, yet still moving along with hope. Hoping that this a situation that seems hopeless will turn out well. Aside from the fact that it has a beautiful message about uh, justice and love, um, I think that Measures Measure is really a collaborative show and um, you're really seeing all of these elements from all these different artistries really come together and create this um, beautiful storytelling experience. What we're starting to find out more and more is that the people we trust to uphold laws just aren't doing it. They're not following the laws that they're putting into place for us to follow. And I feel like what Norm has done to set this version of Measure for Measure in the 60s is very appropriate too, since that was another era where people were first starting to question the faith that they put in their politicians. It's important for us to remember that we're just people. No matter who we put our trust in, those are still people. We're really no better than they are. They aren't any better than we are. And I think that's important for us to remember as Christians, especially because it seems like so many of us these days are putting far too much trust in other human beings. I think it's a, it's a story that has uh, messages that kind of reverberate throughout time, especially for people that are youths and are kind of rebelling against, you know, older people and older rules that they might feel aren't just. Uh, I think that rang true for the 60s, which is when the show is set, and I think it rings true now uh, and rings true for most time periods, so I think college students will find a lot of meaning in this show. There are a multitude of reasons why you should come see our groovy adaptation of Measure for Measure. However, I would state for one that it will make you question everything you thought you know about justice and mercy and allow you to reevaluate what does it mean to love someone? What does it mean to search for justice in this world? Also, I can't, I can't. also you should come see it because you get to see me with child. 